All right, this is a Yamaha XLT 1200 power valve test. The far right power valve is uh, the number three cylinder. And as we can see, that's where the cables come in to actuate it. So what happens is when the cable actuates that power valve, it goes through this linkage, which has a plastic coupler and feeds into the uh, second cylinder. And this one in turn is daisy chained over to the first cylinder. So when this power valve is actuated, all three should actuate. So what we want to do is we want to verify that this plastic coupler is in fact working and doesn't have a lot of tolerance. So we're going to go ahead and uh, start it up and see that if it in fact moves, number one, or that rightmost cylinder moves to the middle cylinder. Okay, so you can see those two cylinders, uh, the power valve mechanism actually works. So now we're going to check in the next one and see that that works. Okay, everything is uh, normal. That's how it should operate normally. If something is not working correctly, what you should see is this power valve will be actuated on the input side, but then this coupler would fail and then the cylinder would fail to activate. And the symptoms of that when only one or two power valves are actually working um, is you're gonna have a, either very poor bottom end if they're stuck open or a very poor top end if they're stuck closed.